Hello, hello, mes amours. Hi, my loves. How you guys doing? This is Nadine Kitchen Be Lit. I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean a, you know, cut up turkey. All right? It's very easy. Trust me. Turkeys are really easy to clean. All right? Very simple. All right? So this is my turkey meat. I already have salt on there. I added salt lime um juice on here vinegar right so now i'm just gonna remove all the skin off whatever skin i need to remove off not all of it just the excess excess skin like this right i'm just gonna remove this part out and that's it and what i usually do with my knife i run my i slice my meat that way all that good vinegar and salt and lime juice get inside of it, right? See that little bloody vein? You want to take, just take that little bloody vein out. That's it. Like this. You don't do much with that. Look. Remove that part out. Flip it. Remove this excess skin out. And then you're gonna slice your meat right here you want all that nice lime juice vinegar water to get in there and when i'm done with all this i'm gonna add my moho and let it sit for a little bit this look you don't need that remove it and see all that chunk of fat you can cut some off you don't need none of that And sometimes they have hair. Please remove the hair. We do not need turkey with hair when we cook. This turkey meat is gonna be um, used for turkey stew. See, this is good enough. And you're gonna slice, slice it. That's how when you bite into your meat, that's why it tastes so good. See this part, remove it. This is already good. You don't need to do nothing else with this. Okay, so this part, look, cut this piece off. I have a separate bin. I'm going to put all my um, meat in there too, the one I already cleaned. I'm going to remove, let's see if it's easier to do it this way. And you need a kitchen, kitchen scissors, you guys. It's going to make your life in the kitchen so much easier when you're cleaning your meat. See? So easy. Can you imagine just doing it with a knife? Right? See? And then you're going to take your knife. You're going to slice it because you want all that good juice to go inside when you bite into your meat. See? That's it. Do the same thing for the rest. Any excess skin that you see, you cut it off. See? And if you see any skin with hair, you take it out. Because you do, we do not need no meat with hair. We don't want to eat meat with hair, please. This is going to be good. This is going to be used for my um, turkey stew. I'm not going to fry this. I'm going to bake it under the oven and make my stew on top of the stove with nice crunchy carrots. Celery. I'm going to boil it with celery, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, thyme, parsley, all that good stuff. See that? Remove this part out. Trying to see if I find another one. See how this turkey meat is like stiff? All right. I usually cut this part out from my turkey meat, then run my knife. here right I'm gonna slow cook this turkey on medium medium not high because I want it to be really good when I marinate it and of course after I'm done cleaning the turkey I'm gonna have my boiled water with parsley thyme and lime to pour over it 
that way you know the inside of your turkey is not you know you take all that bacteria out the inside of your turkey is not going to be paint it's going to leave it fresh and clean because that's what we're looking for like this is already good you don't need to do nothing else with this turkey is really easy you guys and you're just going to remove this part out and continue and that's it. And once you're done, you're going to make sure you rub your um, rub your lime on it with your sour oranges and taste it. Make sure the salt is right. It's not salty because remember, you're going to add your spices later. If you have, if you uh, use homemade spices like the blended Haitian spice, APs, all that good stuff in there, you make sure you have a well-balanced salt and seasoning because you do not want it to be salty okay like this part you want to slice it because you want all that good marinade to go inside of it see you don't that's it you don't need to do nothing else that's how easy it is to clean a turkey meat all right very easy so if you think about doing some turkey stew there you go all right that's all it is then after i'm done i'm gonna add my mojo marinade and then i'm gonna marinate this after i'm done pouring my um hot water over with the thyme and parsley and i'm gonna marinate it with some homemade um a piece i'm gonna have some nice crushed garlic fresh crushed garlic and parsley and other spices like onion powder all that good stuff my um scotch bonnet sauce and i'm gonna remove this part out Sorry about my dog. And that's all you guys, thank you.